Hi there YouTubers and 3D Studio Max enthusiasts. In today's episode we're going to talk about parametric walls. As you can see here on my Pinterest account I just uh, searching to see exactly different types of parametric walls and how we can create this in, in 3D Studio Max. If you would like to know how to do any of these uh, walls stay tuned and let's jump in. So I just opened my 3D Studio Max in here. The first thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go and check my units. So I'm in millimeters and millimeters. First of all, I'm just gonna create a plane. I just need to know how big my parametric wall is going to be. So I'm gonna do a width of, I don't know, 5,000 millimeters, which is five meters, and the height of 2,500, let's say for now. Okay, I'm just gonna move this a little bit higher. Maybe I'm gonna make this a little bit longer. Okay, this is looking good. Now I'm gonna go on the left view and I'm gonna, with a line, with a rectangle, just gonna create my first uh, piece of wood. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to create a couple of different uh, planks of wood. I'm gonna make this and uh, I'm gonna array them and I'm gonna intersect them with uh, my surface. So what I'm going to do first, I'm gonna use an editable poly. In case you don't know, I'm using 3D Studio Max 2024. So I'm just gonna collapse this. No, I'm just gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna use an array. I'm gonna take this X out. I'm gonna use the Y uh, with a spacing of uh, minus 150. Maybe 150 is a little bit, maybe 100. Okay, this is uh, looking good already. There are quite a lot of them right now, so let's do less. Okay, now let me check how big is my plane. I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger than my whole, uh, than my planks. Now I'm just gonna isolate only this. I'm gonna create more segments. So I'm gonna play, apply an editable poly into this. I'm gonna make one selection. Here I'm gonna go to use soft selection. I'm gonna make my soft selection a little bit bigger. So let's see, yeah, this could work. And now I'm gonna start moving vertices on my object in different points, in different directions. You can even take two of them. Oh uh, yeah, just check all the time exactly how they are actually looking. Oh, uh, you can also have them closer. Some of them can go in, some of them can go out. Oh uh, yeah, you can just play with this. In the, uh, it's already looking quite nice, I would say. I can have another one here. Yeah, you can create also on the top part or on the left side. Okay, this is already looking good. Now I'm just gonna apply a turbo smooth to make it smoother. Let's see the surface, it's uh, looking quite nice already. I like it. Now I'm gonna unhide my surface to see how am I intersecting with my original surface. Okay, this is uh, looking cool. Uh, now I'm gonna use a shell and I'm gonna make here a meter. Maybe a meter is a little bit too much. Let's see. Yeah, let's go 500 maybe. Maybe a little bit more. Straight corner. Anyway. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm gonna go to my uh, planes and I will apply a boolean. This is 3 Max 2024, as I said, you now you have a boolean as a modifier. And I'm gonna use the, the subtract, which is this one, and I'm gonna subtract my object. I click on it. Now I need to wait for a bit because it's quite a complex uh, situation. And I have my objects. Of course, I have some leftovers here. And there is not that uh, bad. 
I will just apply an editable poly. I will select all of this and delete. Also this, delete. What else do I have here? It's fine. Maybe this also to delete. And now uh, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to apply a retopology. I'm going to use 15,000 and I'm just going to click compute. going to wait for a bit. It's going to take a while. There are quite a lot of uh, polygons. So let's see. Okay, now it's done. Let's see. Uh, it's looking good. Now I'm going to apply a shell. Uh, to this shell I'm gonna make it 20 millimeters and this is my surface. Uh, it's looking quite good if you want to make all the because as you can see right now here um, you can see the f faces on how the boolean was uh, actually made so I would like to have this uh, uh, with round corners I don't want to see any straight faces and straight corners I'm gonna apply a chamfer on this and to this chamfer I'm gonna apply it as a smooth chamfer only and here on the top part on the depth I'm gonna use one so I'm gonna have a straight corner in here and after that I'm gonna apply a turbo smooth you can see the turbo smooth is here now depending on how many faces do you wanna have on this uh, you can have more or less uh, iterations on the wood so as you can see right now it's already looking good with two iterations even though this corner is uh, that's part of the intersection yeah i think uh, overall it's looking very nice let's create also material for this so i'm gonna use a v-ray material in here i need v-ray bitmap this bitmap i'm gonna apply wood texture gonna make yeah it doesn't matter for now i'm gonna apply this in the diffuse for now and to this i'm gonna apply a new vv randomizer because i don't want to have to see the repetition of my textures on the other wood slats and i'm gonna use here element and i'm gonna use real world scale and uh, this texture let's see how big it is view image okay approximation is yeah it's almost three times the width so the height is almost three times the width you can also calculate that if you want to if you open the image uh, it's this one and you see here the this is the texture as you can see here these are this is the resolution you can go here calculator and you can just calculate how big it is so how to do that it's very simple you just take 4068 divided by 1870 and this is the ratio so 246 so for example if i'm saying that this is 600 i'm just gonna make 2.46 by 600 and i'm gonna get the height so 246 by uh, let's say 900 and 221 so 900 by 221 i'm gonna make it i'm gonna cancel all of this i am uh, gonna go 221 21 0 by 900 and now i'm just gonna apply this to my object i got the new and uh, i need to apply here a new uv map i'm gonna use this as a box and real world map size now you can already see my texture in here which is uh, already it's looking amazing so i don't like the fact that the texture is going on the other direction so i'm just gonna use the y direction and now it's all going correctly so what do i need to do next oh, let me open the material slot i just want to give some reflection to this uh, I would like also to add some glossiness, but I'm just gonna use the map. I'm gonna apply also a color correction to this. I'm gonna go to advance. Don't need this. I don't use it. I'm gonna add a little bit more glossiness. Yeah, this could work. And for the bump, I'm gonna use the V-ray bump to normal, and I'm gonna add this in here and this bump in here instance. I'm gonna use here 100 because when you use a normal you need to use 100 there and then I can tell the height by having it here but for now I'm just gonna leave it as it is I'm gonna add very fast a texture in here I'm gonna go to textures 
HD Rise, HD Rise Heaven, it's Poly Heaven right, right now called. And I'm just gonna open uh, this uh, auto shop. I'm gonna open my, my slate materials. I'm gonna open this and here I'm just gonna go to my material to make it a spherical. And now it should be fine. Let's see the perspective. I'm gonna open the V-Ray frame buffer. I'm gonna start it and let's see. Okay, this is uh, looking quite good actually. Um, I'm gonna add here an exposure, make the exposure a little bit higher. Also, I will use a filmic tone map. I don't want to see the background, so I would like to isolate only my. So what I'm going to do? I'm gonna go to F10 V-Ray um, environment. Add this in here and on the effect. Now it's correct. Now what else do I need to add here? The render elements. I will also add a denoise. Should be a D de denoiser. And for this, I'm not gonna use the default. I'm gonna use the Intel. I'm gonna stop this. Start all over again. Maybe to make a different um, size. I'm gonna use one. And this is the wall. I hope you guys liked this video. In case you liked it, please don't forget to share it with your friends. And this is quite a nice uh, wall. I don't really like the textures in here. See, the thing is that uh, they are rotating. So that's because of the material. That's very thing to fix. So it's happening because of the, in the UV randomizer, I have a rotation. So if I put this to zero, now it should be fine also if you want to have different colors on the wood slats or you can mix the diffuse map with the v-ray multitext okay this is looking quite nice here i see a corner but that's because of the surface that got intersected with this but overall i think it's a very useful uh, tutorial uh, you can use it in your uh, yeah design or in your future projects of course you can also create a bench here or you can create different things depending on the surface that you had intersected with this uh, uh, wood slats so in case you like this uh, this uh, uh, tutorial please don't forget to subscribe or share it with your friends uh, use it in your projects I'm gonna save this into my Patreon in case you want to download this from my Patreon. Yeah, the, my Patreon is not for free, of course. This is why it's called the Patreon. But uh, please be my guest. I'm gonna put more 3D models or in there. There are already some 3D models in there. So yeah, if you like this, please don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.